Hello everyone. So in today's video, I want to take a look at uh, two string functions that are not very often seen or used, but they could be very, very helpful in some point in time. So to start off, uh, I have here a string that says Daniel is 25 years old. And what I want is that 25 out of that string. Okay, how can I get a pointer to the start of this place? And I want to sort of store it somewhere. How can I do that? Well, I'm gonna have a pointer here, char pointer, let's say age. And the basic idea would be to just uh, iterate till we find a number, right? So go with a for loop. I'm just gonna use an int here, i less than str len of str, and then i plus plus, simple enough. And if uh, str of i, right, the character that we're currently on is higher or equal than ASCII code or the ASCII value of zero and str of i is less or equal than the ASCII value of nine, then we know it's a, it's a digit, right? In here, we have a character that is represented or representing a digit here. And what we can say is just, okay, well, this is the age basically. Suppose that we only have this as digits inside the string, okay? Um, I can say here age equals str plus i and also break. Now, if I, for example, print f this age, so percent s backslash n age, if I run this, okay, so the, the compiler is actually checking if I have initialized this. I'm just gonna say no and I should be fine. And as you can see, I'm gonna get just 25 years old. Well, that's fine, but I actually want the number itself. How can I do that? Well, probably just with another uh, for loop that goes over all the elements that are inside uh, this, this interval, right? And just print, and after uh, it's no longer there, then it breaks out of the for loop, simple enough. But there's actually a function for that. There's a function that uh, gives you the amount of characters that are inside a set of characters from the beginning of a string given. So let's try using this function. This function is actually called strspn and I've actually included strings dot h here. This is where you can find it. And this guy just takes in the string. So s or h that's from where we want to take the characters, not from the string itself. And then we want to check all these characters, all these digits, right? And what this guy is going to do is going to start from here and from here onwards, it's going to count how many characters are inside that set that we're giving it. So this set. In our case, it should be two characters because we have two and five. If we save this variable, so let's say size t uh, number of digits equals that. And if I break point here, you'll notice that I'm gonna get, if I type in this uh, number of digits variable, I'm gonna get two. So that is the expected result. So now what we can do is to actually create a uh, for loop that prints this out for us. We can just say for uh, int i equals zero, i less than this guy, this str spn, and i plus plus. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna actually store this in a variable because it's there's no need to do that. And then all we have to do is just print f percent c and the actual character. So age of uh, i here, just like so. And I'm also gonna print f a backslash n at the end of this for loop. So now if I try to run this, you actually notice that I get just 25 on the screen. So this is sort of the expected result that we wanted. And actually I'm gonna change this guy to be str, be initialized to str just because I can get rid of all these warnings saying that age shouldn't be null when called. Uh, that's just from my compiler though. Now, this is one of the functions. Guess what the other function does? The other function, what it does is basically what we did up here, where we just uh, went through all of the characters and we tried to find the first occurrence of uh, a character that it was that was in a set of characters, right? What was the set? Well, the set was the digits, all the digits, and the string was this guy. 
the function is called strpbrk. strpbrk, what it what it does is well taking the string that we want, the string input, and then takes in again a set of characters, right? just like that. But instead of returning a number like strspn, it actually returns a char pointer, which should be set to our age pointer. So if we delete all this and we say it equals all that, and we can simply comment this all out. If I run this, you'll notice that I get exactly the same result. So this is the age pointer that points to the beginning of the age. And then this guy actually prints the whole age character by character on the screen. So I think this is very helpful. So sometimes if you want to search in a set in a string, a a set of uh, characters. This could be very, very helpful. If you really want to count the number of characters you have in a certain set, uh, it's also very helpful to use strspn. Now, to note here, strspn actually doesn't work all the time uh, as you'd expect. Like, if I have here, instead of uh, giving it the age, if I give it the str, right, it's actually going to return zero. Because this guy, what it does is start the first character and asks, are you inside this subset of characters? Yes or no? If it's a positive answer, then you're going to increment that and go further. But if it's a negative answer, if that is not part of the set, then it's just going to return zero or return the current count, right? So this guy is just going to return zero. So if I, for example, run this, I'm not going to get anything other than the backslash and as you can see, not even the first. So you might have expected this to still return two, but because it's pointing at the beginning of the string and the first character is actually not inside this set of characters, it's just going to break out of the uh, loop and return zero. It's not going to check further out. So this is something to note. I hope this was useful. And I hope that one day you actually use these functions because I feel like they are very useful, but they are hidden after after such a cryptic name like strpbrk. I, I'm sure most of you haven't heard of this. And strspn, that's sort of uh, fine, but it's less used. So that's, that's really what I wanted to present in this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye.